There are some structures simply because of their sheer size that are absolutely awe-inspiring at first glance. For rail fans, one such structure is the impressive Hellgate Bridge in New York City. We'll look at this engineering masterpiece in a moment. In 1879, construction was started on the Otago Central Railway on the South Island of New Zealand. It took 42 years to complete the line, which was closed in 1990, but it's back in business with a portion of it resurrected as a tourist line running through the spectacular Terry Gorge. You are here in Dunedin on the eastern coast of New Zealand for one of the must-sees this country offers, a train ride through the Tyree Gorge. But you can't help but be stunned by the jumping off point. Dunedin's railway station is a beacon of Edwardian architecture in this bustling Kiwi city. Complete with royal Dalton tile floors and splendid stained glass, this fine spot is said to be the most photographed building in the country. Yeah, we get a lot of business because of this station. You know, it is very historic. The station's got the longest platform in New Zealand. It was done up, uh, built in 1906, and uh, a few years ago the city council took it over and uh, spent a million dollars doing it up. But it is the ride through the gorge itself that draws visitors from near and far. The scenery, as most people come on the line, uh, come on the railway line to go and see the scenery up the gorge. There's no other access other than the railway line. Sliding through the rugged gorge, you get a unique look at the seemingly endless wonders of New Zealand. This trip isn't long in miles, but the changes you experience bridge quite a scenic distance. A very narrow river gorge, uh, lots of rocks, um, and it's a bit of an engineering feat getting the railway line through, lots of big viaducts. Uh, ten tunnels all up on the line um, and we climb from sea level right up to uh, the top of the gorge which is I think it's about 900 metres. Along the way you cross a dozen wrought iron and stone viaducts that have stood the test of time. They almost seem part of the natural landscape. It's a world of rocky ledges and sheer drops to pristine waterways. Plunge into darkness as you slip into tunnel after tunnel, ten and all and then emerge into the brilliant day once again. Any time of year is worth seeing here in the gorge. The trip changes each time the weather changes, but that doesn't mean you have to suffer. You're carried along in style. It's the perfect spot for afternoon tea inside. Or perhaps a local brew with an awesome view outside. The line was built two centuries ago when precious cargo was the mainstay of the line. So it was started in about 1879. It was built to tap the gold out of central Otago for a start off, and by the time it got built, the gold had run out. So um, it was mainly built to open the countryside up. The TGR did go through a period when you'd find the cars loaded with passengers of a different breed. They were a bit more wild and woolly but those days are long gone. The railways got out of uh, carting sheep in the uh, 1970s. We do cart a bit of uh, wool occasionally in the height of the season, but we're mainly a tourist railway now. The line is usually loaded with folks who want to look deeper inside New Zealand's rugged countryside. But unlike sheep who used to flock to ride these rails, it took a bit more to get the word out that this was a trip not to be overlooked. We Started off small, um, Dunedin's not a big city. Um, we've had to do a lot of marketing to get people to come to Dunedin to go on the train, and now it is one of the highlights of the, uh, visitors to Dunedin. If you're heading to New Zealand and you're a rail fan, or just enjoy seeing the sights in comfort, put the Tyree Gorge Railway on your list. Some say it's even the best train trip in the country. I'd be very biased if that answer. <laughs> uh, be one of the top 10 well, there's not that 10, 10 railway lines in New Zealand to go on, but be the top, top railway journey, yes, definitely. It's a diesel locomotive hauled, um, DJ class locomotives built in 1968, Mitsubishi um, locomotives. The carriages are a mixture of vintage carriages built in the 1920s and three modern carriages we built in the 1980s, especially for the train. The Tyree Gorge is a natural wonder. The train that chugs through is a marvel of engineering and ingenuity. Together, they make for a memorable trip. <laughs>